about to go on a ferry to go to Vancouver Island and Nanaimo and Victoria. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Hey everyone, so we're on a ferry. We're on a boat to Nanaimo, Vancouver Island. So check this out, I'm in a little corner because it's really windy, but it's beautiful. It's a little chilly out today, but hey, this is gonna be a hell of an experience. So check this out, guys. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we're with lots of friends. Here are my good friend, Mr. Scott, here with Mr. Stepdaddy Jay, here with Mr. Brian. And today we are at Mrs. Rich's. Yes, Mrs. Rich's, which is a famous restaurant in Nanaimo, British Columbia. And why it's famous is because they have this K2 Mountain Burger. So this burger gained a lot of notoriety, a lot of publicity, et cetera, over the years, as it has been undefeated. This burger challenge was undefeated for years and years and years. There was thousands, thousands of attempts, and only one man to this date had been able to complete it. And that's this man right here, Mr. Scott. So one out of thousands of attempts. So it's a really, really poor success rate. Anyway, this thing is like 10 pounds. It's a massive, massive giant burger, multiple pounds of meat, a whole head of lettuce, pounds of tomatoes, et cetera, et cetera. Then you have a massive, giant, giant, giant bun couple pounds of like french fries or like tater like wedges wedges yeah wedges um you only have 60 minutes to do it like we said guys huge un almost undefeated burger before this guy was undefeated and actually randy santel came and did this challenge he tried so randy attempted this challenge he did pretty well however he was not able to complete the vegetables so here again i'm back we'll see him back to avenge randy again um so yeah we're gonna go see if we can do this my first time of course but scott's doing it with me step dad jay's trying it today as well so guys we got 60 minutes Let's have some fun, wish us luck. We're definitely gonna need it. It's gonna be a hell of a challenge. And apparently, cause when Scott does about 10 pounds, it can vary a little bit. So let's hope it's not on the bigger end. Let's hope it's reasonable and let's go have some fun. Hi everyone, here we are with the burgers. They came out absolutely massive, like way bigger than last time. So they've definitely beefed them up a bit. So uh, this is officially the biggest burger challenge I've ever tried guys. Biggest burger challenge I think for the both of us. So wish us luck, fingers crossed. This is gonna be a hell of a ride. Hi everyone, so here we are. Uh, we have one hour. We're all gonna need it, that's for sure. Boys, ready to rock? Let's do it. Let's do it. Jay? Let's do it, guys. Hi, right, everyone. Right. So, how do we get started? What do you say, guys? The count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Wish us luck. No, burgers are cold. <laughs> Does anybody actually have a timer? <clears throat> no. Lots of cheese on this thing. Holy crap. Does it do it with mouth glue? No. Mm -hmm. Not melted cheese. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Mrs. Rich's. Yes, right guys, Mrs. Rich's doing the K2 Mountain Burger. So this is an absolutely massive, massive burger. I will say this has actually been on my radar for a significant amount of time, even dating back to my early food challenge days. This is a very legendary challenge within Canada, but at the time I knew I definitely could not do it as this thing is massive. Okay, got some ketchup going. How about that ketchup black? Man, look at all the veggies. Mm-hmm. Mine's kind of tilted or turned so you guys can't see this, but look at all those tomatoes and stuff. Holy crap. It's at least two tomatoes. And you've got to get the kale garnish on there. Mm. So with this challenge, there was known to be a little bit of variation, somewhere about 10 to 12 pounds. And ultimately ours, yes, and we actually weighed them, they were weighing in at like 11, 11 plus, guys. This was absolutely an absurd challenge. There is so much, like, there's so many ingredients. You can see there's like multiple whole onions, a whole head of lettuce, multiple whole tomatoes, many, many pounds of fries, and way too much bread, guys, just way too much. Good thing I don't mind vegetables. Mmm. My favorite. Lots of pickles. When it comes to the actual taste and quality of this challenge, mmm, let's just say I, I'm not gonna, I'm just, sometimes I think you're better off to save your words and I'm gonna save my words in this case. Although speaking objectively, I will say the food was very, very cold. Um, everything was just, it was odd. It was oddly cooked and uh, it was made an interesting experience. I 
some mayonnaise on there. No, I'm burning my mouth. I must have a cut. Mm -hmm. I must have a cut on the side of my mouth. Well, they didn't have this prepared for us beforehand, so it's cold. <laughs> that was that's nice. <laughs> On this 11 to 12 pounds challenge, there was uh, only one pound of beef on it. Um, and it's really interesting. You see on Scott's, theirs, and you can see on mine, um, the cheese wasn't even melted on the item. So like I said, it was a very, very oddly cooked and uh, made for a very interesting experience. Again, I'm choosing to save some of my words. Uh, I'll let you kind of read between the lines in that regard. Maybe about four-ish minutes in. Judging by the time on camera, I'm doing pretty well. Lots more to go. This gave us some extra motivation because, well, let's just say we really didn't want to have to pay for this, um, let alone I don't even know if we really wanted to eat this at all. But hey, I mean, you, we go into the challenge, that's what you get. Sometimes you get the good, you get the bad, and you just roll with the punches. Um, so there's absolutely a huge amount of bread as well, um, being three layers. There's also ham on there, and there was a couple, um, I believe there's a couple eggs as well. So it's really everything. Well done. So as we mentioned, Scott was the only individual to actually complete this. Um, and it just goes to show how much of a beast Scott is. He really is a great eater. Because guys, there was thousands and thousands of attempts for this thing. Um, I mean, now of course, some of these attempts are sometimes are people just like giving it a leisurely shot and they're sharing it with their family. But it, like I said, I, I just, I hope nobody ever pays for this. So if you're gonna come by the restaurant, guys, hey, I don't know, maybe the restaurant's great. Just our experience, I can only speak for there. Um, just disproportionate portions and it was very 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 interesting at that um, we had mr uh, stepdaddy j with us as well stepdaddy j does some food challenges also does some competitive eating with in canada uh, we had our good friend brian as well so huge thanks to all of them for coming out um, the staff here were quite friendly i have to uh, appreciate their um, hospitality they were showing towards us and I will say guys like just this is an interesting challenge and it actually is the biggest burger challenge I've ever attempted. We've done a couple 10 pound burger challenges but we've never done something that is 11, 11 plus. So this was going to be a rough ride especially as uh, myself and Scott quite a bit as well but especially myself we were definitely out of eating shape. This is one of the first challenges I did in a really really long time and just this it was a rough awakening I'll put it that way. Um, in fact guys really. I'm not even going to say we might have actually failed on this one. So you're definitely going to have to tune in, guys. This is a heck of a challenge. Definitely one of the biggest challenges within Canada, and definitely one of the burgers at that. Jesus, never end. Probably about nine and a half inches in, nine minutes. All right, check. Now trust me, I don't want to sound like any of us were complaining or we weren't excited for this challenge. Like I said, just things maybe turned out or were a little different than we would have expected and we were kind of told. Um, but overall, you know guys, here we are doing the challenge. Like I said, the only way to do it is to do it. And of course, we wanted to give this thing our all and that's absolutely what we're going to. And uh, we did have 60 minutes to do so. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I don't even think half the population could eat right now. They don't have the dentation in it. Where are Still on it. Okay. Here come the burps. You're gonna hear it mentioned, but uh, as we mentioned, there is a very a variation within this challenge. And Scott did think that this version was about a pound or a bit more or bigger than the last time. All right, guys. Pretty much in all the veggies, but I got all the buns, all the fries left, which is a lot. That's like at least that's, this is the majority of the weight still on the table. Um, Scott doing really well. He's through some of the buns, I think. Um, Sid AJ doing really well. Lots gone. Lots more to come. 
Although from my understanding when Scott did attempt it the first time and complete it the first time, he did not weigh it. Um, so, you know, again, there is a little bit of uh, ambiguity and of course just speculation along with that. So that everybody, I believe that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. So definitely, definitely, definitely a, um, well, nine to 10 pounds of bun, vegetables and potato wedges, a pound of beef, with some cheese and maybe a little bit of ham and bacon all in there. We'll see if we can do this, guys. It's definitely a big one. Wish us luck. We might be looking at failure here. But right now, guys, let me know down below. What do you think of this burger? Would you want to eat it? And uh, at that... A lot of onion. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of everything. <laughs> I will let you get to the rest of the video, guys. Oh, by the way, some really cool footage at the end of the video of Vancouver Island. Very, very beautiful place and the big ferry we had to take out to it. So with that, let's see what happens. So much lettuce, the meat was buried underneath. I literally couldn't see it. <laughs> A little bit more. Again. 
you one. Ah. I'll give you one. It's got a good way with words. My hand is literally numb right now. Both of them. No? You're an amazing spot. Yeah. Joel's doing unbelievable. Joel's almost done. Time to get your spring tongue, okay? Joel's on fire today, and that's around. There's a lot of uh, lettuce in here, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't mess around, that's for sure. Oh. That's that's just the top, tip of the iceberg. Iceberg, <laughs> iceberg lettuce or Romanian lettuce, yeah. Pun intended. Joel dislocates his jaw. To the planet. <laughs> Maybe if I fill my cheeks up more. I would eat faster. <laughs> My camera's cut off. I don't know what time we're at now, but probably 29 minutes. Definitely probably how our ancestors ate to avoid predators. Eat quick, eat fast, eat lots and then escape. Find that mountain. Go on the cape, go on the top, keep your mountain. This is a very, very very hard challenge. Well, I'm going to do it, but to do it, or whatever that's saying. And everybody, thank you so much for watching to this point. You are not one of the skippers, but there are some skippers around, and you are not one, so you rock. But let's play a trick on the skippers, guys. Comment down below right now, I can't believe he was naked. And so these skippers are going to have to come back and try to identify where somebody was naked. So we'll do it, guys. Comment down below. Let's play a trick on him. This will be pretty funny. So I can't believe he was naked. And again, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Just down the bread, doing really well. Check that day, doing well. Got about 21 minutes left, guys. Keep it up. Probably about, I don't know, I'm guessing like 16 ish minutes left. Something roughly like that. Scott's just down to, again, like probably the equivalent of one of the pieces of three, like one of the three breads. Step Daddy Jay's doing well, he has a bit left, um, but he's definitely been eating a bit of everything as it's continuing to go along. 
Alright guys, I gotta turn my camera off, I need to save my battery, but we'll come back when Scott's done. He's almost done. Yep. What's, the, what's the time now? We are at 11.48. Alright, so just over 48 minutes done. in, Scott just finished. Let's say like 48 minutes, probably like 20 seconds, something left like there. So huge congrats to Scott. Mr. John still got uh, like 11-ish minutes left. Are you still giving her John? I can fill you in a little bit more. Yeah. But I'm not going to be able to finish in 11 minutes. <laughs> all right, well, I tell you what, guys, valiant effort to all. That was definitely quite the challenge. Like you said, absolutely you massive. Go, I think this was the biggest mount, you, you know, K2 ever. So, everybody, I'll just say goodbye. Like I said, preserve my battery. So, that, everybody, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy, getting. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely an interesting challenge. Um, it's kind of, a, it was, yeah, it was interesting. We'll put it that way. So, that, everybody, until next time, hope you enjoy. Perfect. So we got the shirt, Mr. Ridges and Nanimo, and one oh, turn around. You want the back? Yeah. Oh, that's what And then here we got the priceless conquering of the Mr. Ridges Mountain Burger. Nice. Thanks, dude. So we're on a ferry, we're on a boat to Nanaimo, Vancouver Island. So check this out, I'm in a little corner because it's really windy, but it's beautiful. It's a little chilly out today, but hey, this is gonna be a hell of an experience. So check this out, guys. Very, very beautiful morning. It is pretty with all the mountains, that's for sure. This would be a little nicer if it was like summertime, but I'll take it. And now we are inside the ferry. And again, crazy. Like the biggest thing for me is, because I've seen ferries, I've been on ferries such like this, transportation ferries. You know, the water, of course the ocean's cool, it's the Pacific Ocean, but it's these crazy mountains. The mountains is just what gets me, it speaks to me like, just not many places in the world, you have these big mountain ranges, you know, especially right on the ocean. So pretty dang cool, very beautiful morning, love to see the, uh, the sunrise. It is now probably like eight o'clock, like eight in the morning, um, which the sunrise just, you know, it was only light at, let's say quarter after seven, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically picked two videos yes that's right two videos specifically for you right here so click a video right now get that going and it's going to end so click one quick let's go let's go and have a great day